It's time for HBU Huskies Baseball on the Husky Sports Network. Driven the other way. Hey, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 2020 home opener for HBU Baseball. I'm Russ Renault. Thanks for joining us here this afternoon at Husky Field in Houston for today's matchup with the Texas State Bobcats. Bobcats coming in with a 3-1 and record on the season while the Huskies still looking for their first win. They are 0-4 to begin the year as they come back home for this four-game homestand. You got the Bobcats this afternoon. And then over the weekend, Ball State takes a visit to Houston Friday, Saturday, and Sunday series this weekend against the Cardinals. And as we get the 2020 season underway in this broadcast on the Husky Sports Network, today's free preview on the Husky Sports Network. Coming up on the weekend, it will begin a pay-per-view subscription. It'll be $40.95 per game or it'll be $34.95 for the whole season. You can catch the whole season on video here at home on the Husky Sports Network. We'll have the free audio on the road all season long as well. I want to thank our sponsors today, Memorial Herman, Pepsi, Houston Federal Credit Union, Firehouse Subs, Kalachi Factory, North American Mission Board, IBEW Local 716, Barcelona Sporting Goods, Raising Canes, Kalachi Factory, Roadrunner Moving and Storage, and Under Armour. When we come back here on the HBU Huskies baseball pregame show, we will take a look at the starting lineups, a look around the Southland Conference, and then we're on the action here in the home opener of the 2020 season here on the Husky Sports Network. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. <laughs> Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Russ Renault back here on the Husky Sports Network in the HBU Baseball pregame show. Time now for the starting lineups. First for visiting Texas State, coming in with a 3-1 and record under head coach Stephen Trout. Leading off, the catcher, Tucker Redden. Batting second at second base, Jackson Williams. Batting third in left field, Will Hollis. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, Justin Thompson. Batting fifth, the DH, Wesley Faison. Batting sixth at shortstop, Dalton Sheffield. Batting seventh and playing first base, Cole Coffey. Batting eighth in center field, Isaiah Ortega-Jones. And batting ninth in right field, Chase Evans. Pitcher on the mound today for the Bobcats, making his collegiate debut is Isaac Ponce. And for HBU, an 0-4 record under head coach Jared Moon. Leading off, the DH, Parker Wayne. Batting second in left field is Ryan Edmondson. Batting third, the right fielder, Brandon Benna. Batting cleanup, the third baseman, Jake Miller. 
Batting fifth and playing first base, Johnny Gonzalez. Batting sixth and playing center field, Christian Dumont. Batting seventh, playing second base, Trent Franson. Batting eighth, the catcher, Todd Jackson. And rounding out the lineup for the Huskies, the shortstop, Cal Clark. On the mound today for the Huskies, making his first start of the season is senior left-hander Brent Pronger. Your umpires for today's game, Michael Durantes behind the plate, Chuck Bussey at first base, and Michael Carroll at third. So we take a look at the Southland Conference action from the weekend. Take a look at what happened yesterday in Southland Conference action. Louisiana Tech defeated McNeese 7-4. Southern Miss defeated New Orleans 6-5. Louisiana over Southeastern Louisiana 9-6. TCU defeated Abilene Christian 14-4. And 20th ranked Texas A&M 13. Stephen F. Austin 4. ULM at Northwestern State. Rice at Sam Houston State. Memphis at Central Arkansas were all postponed. And the action coming up this afternoon, Memphis is at Central Arkansas in the game at 4 o'clock. Lamar is at Texas at 4 o'clock. And 11th ranked LSU is at Nichols, and that is a 6 o'clock start. So we will take a break, and we will be back with the action right here on the Husky Sports Network. Houston Federal Credit Union and Houston Baptist University have joined forces to put the howl back in your finances. HFCU offers several products and services such as auto loans, mortgages, and credit cards. And HFCU has a financial education program, Elevate, which is tailored to helping you increase your financial knowledge. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers in Houston believe keeping America's families strong is vital. We believe Houston competes in a global economy, so we must construct buildings to last. We believe training for 10,000 hours counts for something. Most important, we believe in each other. We don't know what the competition believes, and most times, neither do you. To be the best, hire the best. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. International Brotherhood of Electric Workers, Local 716 in Houston, get up for work each day because we believe building schools to code matters. Because building Houston's hospitals correctly saves lives. Because training for 10,000 hours makes a difference. That's why we get up, because we want to make a difference. To be the best, hire the best. IBEW, where skill and value lock arms. The time is now to hire IBW. At the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, we're dedicated to the dedicated, who lace up before sunrise, who don't let a hard hit keep them down, who want the ball when the game's on the line. So team up with the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute at Texas Medical Center Memorial City or the Woodlands, where our affiliated surgeons, specialists, and physical therapists offer all athletes the elite care they need to forge ahead. Here's a toast to all you Caniacs. You are ever faithful aficionados of premium, fresh, never ever frozen chicken fingers from Raising Cane's. Keen connoisseurs of Cane's crispy, extra long, premium crinkle cut fries. You who are dedicated to the made fresh daily cane sauce that twirls tongues in a tastefully tangy tango. Topped off with a little slice of heaven from the goodness of the griddle. We toast you all from Raising Cane's. One love. Russell Renault back here at Husky Field for the 2020 home opener between HBU and Texas State. About to run the team down on the field and get ready for the national anthem and the invocation. We'll be right back with the first pitch. You're watching the Husky Sports Network.
real story is I'm in here every morning and uh, have sampled just about every kolache that they make here. Bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me, and then the rest is for the office. So, yes, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. Well, I used to think it was just fruit-filled stuff, and then I came here, and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. <laughs> it's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> If you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kolache Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best-tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Houston area locations and a proud partner of HVU Athletics. If human beings were great at being human, and if all of mankind were made up of kind women and kind men, it would be wonderful if common knowledge was knowledge commonly known, and if the light from being enlightened into every heart was shown. It would be glorious if neighbors were neighborly, and indifference a forgotten word. It would be awesome if we shared everything and being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if the golden rule was golden to every man. And the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. Treating others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Marriott Houston West Chase, a proud partner of HBU Athletics. Run with UA Map My Run. With your UA Connected footwear, you can leave your phone behind. However, if you choose to run with it, the UA Map My Run app will give map views of your route and a deeper look at your workout with additional stats. We are under armor. The future is ours. Under Armour. Four Points by Sheraton. Always a great stay. Everything you need. Plus extras you love. All for a great rate. Over 150 hotels around the world. Travel the way you like. Check us out at fourpoints.com. And welcome back to Husky Field in Houston for the 2020 home opener for the HBU Huskies taking on the Texas State Bobcats this afternoon. I'm Russ Renault. Thanks for joining us here on the Husky Sports Network. On the mound today for the Huskies is senior left-hander Brent Pronger, 6'6", 185 pounds from Burleson, Texas, Centennial High School. Came here by way of New Mexico Junior College, his second year with the Huskies. Pronger seeing a relief appearance last weekend and tossing three and a third scoreless innings gave up one unearned run against Texas Tech on Friday on four hits, two strikeouts and three walks so zero and zero record and a triple zero ERA for Pronger he'll be facing Tucker Redden, Jackson Williams and Will Hollis for Texas State Tucker Redden senior catcher. He is from Rockport, Texas. Redden hitting 500 on the year, three for six with a home run. Four driven in and a pair of runs scored. Lineup for the Huskies. Defensively across the infield, you got Johnny Gonzalez at first, Trent Franson at second, Cal Clark at short and Jake Miller at third in left field, Ryan Edmondson in center field, Christian Dumont. And in right field, Brandon Benham. Behind the plate, a new face for the Huskies is Todd Jackson. Ready off the bus. So here is Redden leading it off. Tucker Redden. Texas State in their 
kind of pale yellow uniforms with the high maroon socks for Redden. Huskies with the white pants with the blue pinstripes, blue tops, the orange HBU across the front. Now Pronger to work out of the stretch. It's his second career start here at HBU, first of the season. The first pitch on the way is in there for strike one. Home plate umpire Michael Durantes at first base, Chuck Bussey, and at third base, Michael Carroll. Swing and a miss, and Pronger ahead. 0-2. Oh so it's 61 degrees here at game time. An overcast sky here above Husky Field. Wind out of the east-northeast, about 6 miles per hour. Pronger delivers. Fouled away and out of play. Dimensions here at Husky Field, 330 down the lines. 380 in the gaps, 400 on either side of the batter's eye in center field, and about 405 to straightaway center. This is the biggest ballpark in the Southland Conference. Another 0 2 on the way, and this one off the end of the bat and towards the Bobcats' dugout on the first base side. Pronger with a long look in. The curve ball misses upstairs. Tried to show Redden something else. Redden lays off of it. Now the one two pitch. And fastball that misses upstairs. That'll even the count. Two two pitch. Fly ball into right. Benna drifts over. Underneath it. Squeezes it for out number one. Second baseman, number one, Jackson Williams. That'll be senior second baseman, Jackson Williams, from Rosenberg, Terry High School. Hitting 071, one for 14 to start the year. One hit with a double. Does have an RBI. Pitch is inside for ball one. That just misses high. Two balls and no strikes. Line drive, but caught by Cal Clark, and there's two down. Left fielder number six, Will Hollis. That'll bring up senior left fielder Will Hollis. From McKinney, Texas, Boyd High School. Left-handed batter facing the lefty pronger. Hollis 071 on the year one for 14. One hit was a home run. A solo shot. And he takes strike one. The 0 1 pitch is a breaking ball low and away. Strike on the inside corner, one and two. Hollis.
Gonzalez digs back in. Pronger looking in. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Pronger with a one-two-three inning. At the bottom of the first, Texas State nothing. HBU coming to bat here on the Husky Sports Network. If you drive around in Texas, dude, you can be a polluter and that's just rude. But there's a way to help keep the air clean. Gotta take care of your machine. It's the one with wheels, speedometer. This message goes out to both the sexes. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. Keep your engine tuned, keep air in the tires. Make friends with a mechanic, that's a guy with pliers. Please don't speed, that pollutes to the max. Don't sit there and I'll turn it off, relax. Read the paper, meditate. Combine errands if you can. Carpool, fill up with gas after dark when it's cool. If you see some car spit and now smoke, they're messing with the air, and that's no joke. The message is simple, it shouldn't perplex us. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. It doesn't matter if you drive a Ford or a Lexus. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas Natural Resource Conservation Commission. Drive clean across Texas. Down the bottom of the first inning here at Husky Field. On the mound today for Texas State, making his collegiate debut is freshman right-hander Isaac Ponce. 5'11", 185 pounds from Portland, Texas, Gregory Portland High School. Be facing Parker Wayne, Ryan Edmondson, and Brandon Benna, the top third of the order for HBU. Parker Wayne, junior designated hitter. He is from Missouri City, Ridge Point High School. He's hitting 167 on the year, two for 12. For the Huskies, number 14, the designated hitter, Parker Wayne. So Wayne digging in. Ponce ready to deliver the first pitch. And driven deep to left. That sends Hollis back. And that one is gone. One pitch and a home run for Parker Wayne. His first as a Husky. And it's 1-0 HBU. That's a way to start things off at Husky Field this year. The fielder number 23, Ryan Edmondson. So now to be senior left fielder, Ryan Edmondson. He's from Chandler, Arizona, Perry High School. Hitting 200 on the year. Takes a ball outside. Ryan, two for 10 with a double, two RBIs, and a run scored. Left-handed batter. This one misses down low, gets back to the backstop, and two balls and no strikes. This one off the fist, and Sheffield drifting back. Makes the catch just above his head to keep that one from going into center field. And there's one down. Right fielder number 26, Brandon Benna. That'll be senior right fielder, Brandon Benna. It's from Omaha, Nebraska, Creighton Prep. Preseason all Southland Conference selection. Hitting 188, though. Off to a slow start. Three for 16 on the year with an RBI and takes strike one. Breaking ball driven in the left and that's down for a base hit for Benna. Makes a big turnaround first, now heading for second. The throw is not in time. Benna in with a one out double. Here 
Third baseman, number six, Jake Miller. First extra base hit of the season for Benna. That brings up another newcomer and junior third baseman, Jake Miller. Jake from Round Rock and Round Rock High School. Came from Blinn, hitting 286 on the year with a double. Breaking ball misses up and in. Fouled away, one and one. So one nothing HBU here in the bottom of the first inning. Runner at second, one and one count with one out on Jake Miller. Ponds into the stretch. There's a strike on the inside corner at the knees, one and two. Bennett leads away from second. This one chopped off of the shin of Miller as he stays alive. Another one-two pitch. Miller looks at that one as Ponce paints the outside edge for the strikeout, now number two. First baseman, number 38, Johnny Gonzalez. That brings up senior first baseman, Johnny Gonzalez from Frisco, Texas, Wakeland High School. Hitting 357 on the year. A pair of doubles, a triple, an RBI, and two runs scored. Runner at second and two outs here in the bottom of the first. Lefty on left, excuse me, left-handed batter facing the righty punts. Gonzalez takes a big swing at it, fouls it away. Time is called. Ben is still at second. Now the 0 1. Breaking ball, Gonzalez rips it down the right field line, and that one is hooking, and it's foul. Just missed a long home run. Chuck Bussey, the first base umpire, was right on it. And just took foul. So an 0-2 count on Gonzalez with Benna at second and two down. Huskies lead on the leadoff solo home run by Parker Wayne. Now the 0-2. Gonzalez a ground ball up the middle, but Sheffield moves over. The throw to first in time for the out. 
So Parker Wayne with a solo home run. The Huskies lead at 1-0 as we go to the second here on the Husky Sports Network. Coming to you in living cola. Pepsi Cola from the wonderful folks who put the R in Cola. Head to the second inning here at Husky Field. It'll be Justin Thompson to lead it off for the Bobcats. Junior third baseman from Frisco in Wakeland High School. Former teammate of Husky Johnny Gonzalez. Thompson hitting 273 on the year. Swings the first pitch, a pop-up into right. Benna makes the catch, and there's one down. So now to be junior designated hitter Wesley Faison hitting 200 on the year. Pronger bounces that one in front of the plate for ball one. Faison two for 10 with a double. Two runs scored. Faison from Richmond, Fort Bend Travis High School. Just misses outside and it's two and oh. There's a strike on the outer edge, two and one. Following phase on will be Dalton Sheffield as he waits on deck. Pronger comes set. Two one pitch on the way. Driven deep to left. And that one is gone. And we are tied up one apiece on Wesley Faison's first home run of the season. Also his first RBI. So now to be junior shortstop Dalton Shuffield. Sheffield from San Antonio, Johnson High School. Squares to bunt and fouls it back. Sheffield hitting 250, four for 16, a double, two run score. The 0 1 pitch fouled back. Pronger gets ahead in the count. The 
The 0-2 pitch. Sheffield just gets the tiniest piece of that one to stay alive. Breaking ball, chop foul towards the Huskies' dugout. One out, nobody on. Here in the top of the second. Each team with a solo home run. Pronger delivers upstairs for ball one. One-two pitch, ground ball to third. Miller has it, bobbles it, and can't come up with it. So Sheffield reaches on the error by Jake Miller. The first baseman, number 25, Cole Coffey. So now to bring up Cole Coffey. Senior first baseman hitting 286, four for 14, a double, a home run, four RBIs, and two runs scored. Coffee from New Braunfels, New Braunfels High School. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it away. There are 10 RBIs in the Bobcats lineup today. Coffee has four of them. Tucker Redden, the leadoff hitter, also has four, and then Jackson Williams and Will Hollis, one apiece. So a lot of the damage done by the Bobcats early on this season have all been by Redden and Coffee. Coffee left-handed batter. There's only two in the lineup for Texas State today. Will Hollis in the three hole and then Coffee here in the seven. The 0-1 pitch. An off-speed pitch and misses low and away to even the count. Throw over to first. One one pitch in there for strike two. Sheffield, the runner at first. One for one in the stolen base category this year. Got a good lead out there at first. Another throw over by Pronger. If you get out to where the cutout is around first base, that's a pretty good lead. And then Sheffield gets about another two half steps. The breaking ball fouled back. One and two. One two pitch. Just misses low. And leaving the count at two and two. Ground ball through the left side for a base hit. Sheffield rounding second. He will hold up there. The single by Coffee. Center fielder, number 17, Isaiah Ortega-Jones. That brings up junior center fielder, Isaiah Ortega-Jones. 
from Fort Worth and North Crowley High School. Hitting 111. One for nine on the year with a double and two runs. Got runners at first and second with one out here in the top of the second inning. Sheffield reached on an error. He's at second. And Coffee at first with a single. Looked like a pretty good pitch from Pronger. Called the ball. The Huskies got a solo home run by Parker Wayne to lead off the bottom of the first. Bobcats, the solo home run by Wesley Faison here in the second, and now have a pair of runners on. This one popped up, shallow right field, and Benna comes in, makes the catch, and there's two down. The right fielder, number 15. So two on and two down. First pitch misses high to Chase Evans, senior right fielder from Kingwood, Kingwood High School. Hitting 143, making his third start of the year, one for seven so far. That one's down and in. Nice block there by Jackson. 2-0 the count. That one misses up and away. 3-0. and That misses. And a four-pitch walk loads the bases for the Bobcats. We go back to the top of the order in Tucker Reddin. Redden flied out to right his first time up. The catcher, number two, Tucker Redden. So Sheffield at third, Coffey at second, Evans at first. There's a strike called. Oh, and one the count. Pronger comes set. Here's the 0 1 pitch. And a breaking ball that misses down and in. Another strike called, one and two. <laughs> Pro 
Pronger with a one-two pitch. High fly ball into center. Dumont coming in, and he will make the catch as the Bobcats leave the bases loaded. We go to the bottom of the second. HBU 1, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. Recording artist Kevin Fowler. Oh, I love the sound of fast boats racing. Rooster tells a flying high. Love to hear all my ratty friends rocking, howling at the full moonlight. Love to see those fireflies buzzing, lighting up the southern sky. Yeah, I'm a hell being 100% Texan till I die. Like lots of 100% Texans, I love having a good time on the water. But remember, nobody's waterproof. Play it safe. Wear a life jacket and designate a driver for the boat and for a safe ride home. Follow these tips and there'll be a lot more days for you to play in this great state of Texas. Nobody's waterproof, yeah, that's a helmet truth, and you know it ain't no lie. Sponsored by Texas Parks and Wildlife. Ross Renault back here at Husky Field. Thank you for joining us here on the Husky Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the second inning. It'll be Christian Dumont to lead it off for the Huskies, followed by Trent Franson and Todd Jackson. All tied up at one apiece. And just joining us, Parker Wayne with a home run in the first inning for HBU. Wesley Faison with a solo hey, shot in the second, the second for, for Texas Huskies. State. The center fielder, number one, Christian Dumont. So Dumont hit by a pitch on the first pitch and will head down to first. So Christian, the junior center fielder from Bellevue, Nebraska, Bellevue West High School, gets the leadoff hit by pitch. That'll bring up senior second baseman Trent Franson. Trent from Houston, Lutheran South High School. Hitting 133 on the year, two for 15 with an RBI and a run score. Swing and a miss for strike one. Dumont came into the game hitting 231, 3 for 13 with a double, a home run, two RBIs, a two run score. Takes that one on the outside corner, 0 and 2. The throw over to first. Dumont one for one in stolen base category this year. It's Franson digs back in. Down in the count, 0 and 2. Ponce comes set. Now the 0-2 pitch misses up and in. That is a breaking ball 
Franson takes it for strike three and now number one. The catcher, number 34, Todd Jackson. That brings up junior catcher Todd Jackson. It's from San Jose, California, Bellarmine High School. He's hitting 500, three for six with a home run, an RBI, and two runs scored. Runner goes, swing and a miss, double clutch by the catcher. Redden and Dumont safe in second with his second stolen base of the year. So 0-1 the count on Jackson. That misses low and away, one and one. The one one pitch, Jackson fouls it away. Busy day and night here on campus. The basketball team is playing a doubleheader later on. Starts with an afternoon matchup between women's basketball team and Abilene Christian at 5 o'clock, followed by the men against ACU at 7.30. Time is called. Jackson takes a stroll. Now steps back in. DeMont the runner at second. DeMont was hit by a pitch to lead off the inning. Trent Franton struck out. Then DeMont stole second. The one-two pitch. Jackson drives this one into center. Ortega Jones under it. Dumont tagging. He will head to third. And he's going to be in there on the fly out by Jackson. So a runner at third with two outs. Shortstop number 15, Cal Clark. I'll bring up senior shortstop Cal Clark. Cal from Fairfax, Iowa, Cedar Rapids Prairie High School. Hitting 167, making his second start of the year. It's one for six with the run score. Now he's swinging him in, it's for strike one. That one misses inside, one and one. Cal, the cover boy on today's game program. So if you go to hbhuskies.com, go to the baseball page and click on the game program. You can check out all the information on the team. See Cal on the cover today. He swings and misses, and it's one and two. The one-two from Ponce, and Clark fouls it back. Now 
Dumont at third, and now another one, too. That misses low and away to even the count. Ponce with a long look in. Now steps away as Redden looks into the dugout for a new sign. Two two pitch on the way. Down and in for a full count. Pont sets and the payoff pitch to Clark. Low and away for ball four. So runners on the corners as we go back to the top of the order and Parker Wayne. Designated hitter number 14, Parker Wayne. Parker Wayne drilled the first pitch he saw in the first inning over the left field wall. Gave the Huskies a 1-0 lead at the time, but... Bobcats answering back on a solo shot by Faison in the second. So Wayne steps in, hitting 231 on the year now. And the off speed pitch misses inside, 1 0. Parker with a throwback, no batting gloves. Now the 1-0 pitch. This one into left center field, and that is going to drop for a base hit. One run comes in, and Clark heads to third, and the Huskies lead at 2-1. So Parker Wayne with a pair of RBIs today. One in each inning. That brings up Ryan Edmondson. Ryan popped up to short his first time up. So we get a visit out to the mound. The runners on the corners again, two outs, and the Huskies leading it two to one. Edmondson hit one off the fist in the first inning. Shuffield drifted back and made the catch. And Michael Durante, so the home plate umpire, goes out to break it up, but conversation over, and Edmondson about to step in. So Clark at third and Wayne at first. That misses away. One ball and no strikes. Runner goes from first, throw down to second, is not in time. Stolen base for Wayne, his second of the year. Now a pair of runners in scoring position. Pitch called to strike. So one and one the count on Edmondson. A 
A swing and a miss, one and two. Pot steps away. Clark at third and Wayne at second. Edmondson down the count one and two with two outs here in the bottom of the second. Huskies leading two to one. Ponce delivers. Edmondson with a fly ball to center. Ortega Jones drifting back, and that one is over his head, and that one falls in fair. Two runs score, and Edmondson's in with a stand-up double. And that's going to bring a pitching change here for the Bobcats as head coach Stephen Trout comes out to make the change. That'll be it for Potts. We'll come back and tell you about the new pitcher when we come back here on the Husky Sports Network. It would be great if human beings were great at being human. And of all of mankind, we're made up of kind women and kind men. It would be wonderful if common knowledge was knowledge commonly known. And if the light from being enlightened into every heart was shown. It would be glorious if neighbors were neighborly. And indifference, a forgotten word. It would be awesome if we shared everything. And being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if the golden rule was golden to every man. And the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. Treating others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Marriott Houston West Chase, a proud partner of HBU Athletics. So a new pitcher for the Bobcats here in the bottom of the second inning. Be senior right-hander Jacob Little from Salado, Texas, Salado High School. Little making his first appearance of the season. So the Huskies have scored three runs here in the bottom of the second, lead of four to one. Right fielder number 26, Brendan Bitta. Big two out double by Ryan Edmondson. Two out, two run double. The fly ball just kept drifting away from the center fielder, Ortega Jones, and just couldn't catch up to it. Now it'll be Brandon Bitta. And Brandon doubled his first time up. Now hitting 235 on the year. Little's first pitch, down and in for ball one. Benna, able to check his swing, lays off, and it's 2-0. Now the 2-0 pitch. Fly ball into center. Right at Ortega Jones. Comes in. Makes the catch for the third out. The Huskies score three runs and lead it 4-1 to one as we go to the third here on the Husky Sports Network.
Going to school at Houston Baptist University was an excellent choice. As the official credit union of HBU, Houston Federal Credit Union is focused on helping you to continue to make great choices. HFCU will meet all your financial needs by providing the personal attention and variety of services you deserve. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. What's it mean for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 716, to send someone to your job site? It means electricians that pass basic trigonometry, calculus, or algebra are sent to your job site. It means electricians familiar with OSHA compliance are sent to your job site. It means IBW electricians made a conscious decision to improve their life and the lives of others. What does it mean? It means everything. To be the best, hire the best. The time is now to hire IBEW. So we go to the top of the third inning. Got a new pitcher into the game for HBU. It's going to be sophomore right-hander Chris Burns. It's from Houston, Westbury High School. Burns making his second appearance. His first one was a start. 0-1 with a 17-18 ERA. It's Northern Colorado on Friday. Burns gave up seven runs on seven hits, two strikeouts and six walks in three and two-thirds innings. So he'll be facing 2-3-4 here for the Bobcats. It'll be Jackson Williams, Will Hollis, and Justin Thompson. Williams lined out to short his first time up. Fastball from Burns, a strike on the inside corner. That fastball misses high, one and one. Burns comes set. Now the 1-1 pitch. Fastball at the knees for strike two. One-two pitch. Down and in to even the count. Take a look at the Southland Conference scoreboard. The third and the sixth innings. All the games today, later on tonight. 2 2 pitch. Misses low. Memphis is at Central Arkansas and Lamar at Texas. Those both four o'clock starts. And then at six o'clock, number 11 LSU is at Nichols. Three two pitch to Williams, a ground ball to short. Clark up with it. The throw over to Gonzalez for out number one. Actually, some Thursday action this week. Tomorrow, Incarnate Word against That's Notre Dame in the six, Alamo Irish Hollis. Classic in San Antonio. And then in Corpus Christi, Kansas State is at Texas AM Corpus Christi. That's six thirty tomorrow in the Kleberg Bank College Classic. So here's Will Hollis, struck out to end the first inning, his first time up. Takes a fastball outside. Plenty of action on Friday. And first game of the day is the one here at Husky Field when Ball State comes to town. That's a 2 o'clock start on Friday. Burns misses upstairs, 2-0.
the weekend series, Ball State, 2 o'clock Friday, 1 o'clock on Saturday, and 1 o'clock on Sunday. You can catch them all on the Husky Sports Network this weekend. High fly ball behind first base. Franson under it. And he will make the catch for the second out. That'll bring up Justin Thompson. Fly it out to right to lead off the second inning. His first time up. This weekend begins the baseball season pass on the Husky Sports Network. That's $34.95 for the whole season, the pay-per-view for the video. $4.95 per game. There's a strike from Burns, and it's 0-1. Other action this weekend, North Alabama is at Northwestern State. UT Arlington at Stephen F. Austin. Incarnate Word will play Notre Dame again on Friday. There's a ground ball to the right side. Gonzalez has it. Flips it to Burns, who steps on the bag in a 1-2-3 inning. We've got the bottom of the third inning. HBU 4, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. All right, fans. It's If Raven King's one love was rock music, they would rock harder than any rock band ever. Their tours would sell out before they were announced. Their backstage parties would be the stuff of legend, attended by unicorns and the head of Louis XIV. Hotel rooms would trash themselves out of respect. But Raising King's one love isn't rock music. It's making the perfect chicken finger meal every single time. Raising King's one love. <laughs> What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are Southland strong. Ross Renault back on the Husky Sports Network. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It'd be Jake Miller to lead it off for HBU. Jacob Little still in the game for Texas State. Miller struck out looking his first time up back in the first inning. Continue looking at the Southland Conference action coming up on Friday. Little Rock is at Nichols. Utah is at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Lamar at Texas State. Jacksonville at Southeastern Louisiana. Central Arkansas at Southern Miss. New Orleans at Arkansas State. Loyola Marymount at Sam Houston State. And Abilene Christian is at UC Santa Barbara. First pitch to Miller. Misses inside. And it's 1-0. Ground ball to the right side. Williams up with it and over to first for out number one. First baseman number 38, Johnny Gonzalez. That brings up Johnny Gonzalez, grounded out to short to end the first inning. Just missed a long home run. A deep foul ball down the right field line. Takes some ball one down low. Little with the pitch and a strike on the outer edge. The 1-1 one, one from Little. And that's in the dirt. The 
change up on the outside corner for strike two. Two and two on Gonzalez. One out, base is empty. Huskies leading at four to one here in the bottom of the third. Little steps off. Two two pitch. Gonzalez with a ground ball the other way, and that's inside the third base bag. Johnny digging for a second, and he is in there with a stand up double. So Gonzalez goes the other way just inside the third base bag. Gives the Huskies a runner in scoring position with one out. Brings up Christian Dumont. He's hit by a pitch to lead off the second inning. Came around to score. Scored on the RBI single by Parker Wayne. Ned Slider for a strike, 0 and 1. Little spins around, fake towards second, nobody covering. And Gonzalez back to the back. Little sets. The 0 1 pitch. And Dumont fouls it away. Now the 0-2 pitch, taken down low for a ball. The 1-2. In the dirt, blocked by the catcher, and Gonzalez down to third is in there. It's going to be a wild pitch on Little. It's a good play by Redden to make it close over at third. So a two-and-two two count on Dumont with Gonzalez at third with one out. Little from the windup now. And this one driven into center field. Ortega Jones, that one falls and it gets past him. Dumont heading for second, now digging for third. Dumont is going to be in there with a triple. Five to one Huskies on the RBI triple by Christian Dumont. Isaiah Ortega Jones trying to make these backhanded sliding catch and came up empty. Had to bring up Trent Franson. Franson struck out looking back in the second inning. Infield comes in for the Bobcats. Little going to, to work out of the windup. Franson 
with a big swing out in front of a changeup, and it's 0 and 1. A fly ball into shallow left. Hollis coming in, and that's going to fall in front of him. And Dumont comes home, and the Husky lead it 6-1. It's an RBI single for Franson. So now to be Todd Jackson. Jackson flied out to center back in the second. Now runner on at first and one out. The Huskies have scored a pair of runs here in the third and lead it 6-1. to one. Throw over to first and Franson's back. That one in the dirt and the throw down to second by Redden is not in time. So another wild pitch by Little sends France into second. Jackson ahead in the count, 1-0. Takes that one down low. Two balls and no strikes. There is action in the Bobcats' bullpen. They're out of my view. I can't see a number down there. And that one hits Jackson. Franson's going to have to go back to second. And that's going to be it for Little. Another pitching change here for the Bobcats. We'll come back and tell you about the new pitcher when we come back here on the Husky Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education for our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community. And we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. New pitcher into the game for Texas State. I mean, senior right-hander Garrett Herman from Cypress and Cy Ranch High School. Making his second appearance, no record, a 771 ERA. He's given up two runs on five hits, a strikeout and a walk in two and a third innings. Huskies have scored two runs in this inning. They lead it six to one. Got runners at first and second with one out. That'll be Cal Clark coming up to bat. Jake Miller. Grounded out to second to lead off the inning. Then it was a double by Johnny Gonzalez, a triple by Christian DeMont, an RBI single by Franson, who's at second. And then Jackson hit by a pitch. He's at first. Now Cal Clark, the batter. Cal walked and scored his first time up back in the second inning. 
Huskies are run in the first, three in the second, two here in the third. First pitch by Herman in the dirt for a ball. Clark squares the button. This one skips in front of the plate. Third wild pitch this inning by Bobcats pitchers. That moves another runner into scoring position. Second and third now with one out and a 2-0 count on Clark. Corner infielders are in for Texas State. With a runner at third now. Middle infielders playing back. Had the infield in on Franson's RBI single earlier. Clark fouls this one back two and one. So Franson, the runner at third, and Todd Jackson at second. Herman sets. Now the 2-1 pitch. Clark takes a strike to even the count. Two two pitch. Clark with a chopper to third, and Thompson comes home with it to play at the plate, and Franson is out. So Clark reaches on the fielder's choice. Jackson moves over to third. Franson out at the plate for out number two. Runners on the corners now as we go back to the top of the order and Parker Wayne. Designated hitter number 14, Parker Wayne. Wayne two for two. Solo home run in the first inning. RBI single in the second. He's got a pair of RBIs, a pair of runs. Hitting 286 on the season now. And a breaking ball for a strike 0-1. Fast ball in there for strike two. 0 and 2 now on Wayne. Herman comes set. The 0 2 pitch on the way misses high. Pretty good crowd out here on opening day on a on a day that doesn't have very good weather. Not too chilly, but overcast and not really what you'd consider baseball weather, but thank everybody for coming out nonetheless and all of you watching at home. The one-two pitch on the way, and Wayne can't check his swing as he strikes out to end the inning, but the Huskies add on a pair of runs. Lead it six to one as we go to the fourth here on the Husky Sports Network. Just about every kolache that they make here. 
bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me, and then the rest is for the office. So, yes, I, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. So. Well, I used to think it was just fruit-filled stuff, and then I came here, and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. <laughs> it's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> When you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kolache Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best-tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Proud partner, HBU And to the top of the fourth inning, Chris Burns, still the pitcher for the Huskies. Brent Pronger went two innings. Burns came in last inning. He'll be facing Wesley Faison, Dalton Sheffield, and Cole Coffey, five, six, and seven for the Bobcats. Bobcats, one run, two hits, no errors. Huskies, six runs, seven hits, one error. Burns works out of the stretch. First pitch on the way. Misses up high to Faison. Faison with a solo home run, accounting for the Bobcats' lone run of the afternoon. Back in the second inning. Takes a fastball for a strike, one and one. One, one pitch. Ground ball to second. Franson charges it. Fires over to first to Gonzalez for the first out. Shortstop, number eight, Dalton Sheffield. Brings up Dalton Sheffield. Reached on an error back in the second. Burns misses down and in. One zero pitch, check to swing and a chopper down to third. Miller, the throw over to first in time for out number two. First baseman number twenty five, Cole Coffee. Now to be Cole Coffee at the plate, singled his first time up back in the second. Strike on the outside corner at the knees by Burns. Now the 0-1 and a foul ball. Burns ahead in the count. Burns with the 0 2, up and in for ball one. Pitch on the way. This is down low to even the count.
2-2 pitch. Change up, swung on and missed. Burns gets the strikeout. We go to the bottom of the fourth. HBU 6, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports hey, Network. HBUHuskies.com is the official website of Husky Athletics. Whether you're just one person or a big group of 30, you're still a proud Texan. You don't want your highways dirty. So pick up roadside litter with your church group or track team, your business or your book club. Everybody keeps it clean. And when people ask you what you're doing, you can say, I'm going the extra two miles for Texas. I'm adopting a highway, end up with blue bonnets or beside a big corn crop. A sunset biggest Texas or a cottontail that hops. So take your stretch of highway and make it look first class. The people will be smiling when their cars and trucks go past. And don't be too surprised if you hear somebody say, Thanks for going the extra two miles for Texas and adopting a highway. Texas was the first to develop and adopt a highway program. Learn how you can adopt at don't mess with Texas.org. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Leading off the fourth for the Huskies, the left fielder, number 23, Ryan Edmondson. Russ Renault back here at Husky Field in the HBU baseball home opener for 2020. Huskies with a 6-1 lead. Ryan Edmondson to lead it off here in the bottom of the fourth. Garrett Herman back out there for the Bobcats. Big right-hander. First pitch is up high for a ball. Edmondson, one for two today, popped up to short in the first inning and a two-run double in the second. Swing and a miss. One and one. No, swing and a miss. Herman ahead in the count one and two. One's up and in to even the count on Edmondson. Brandon Benna's on deck. Jake Miller due up after that. 2-3-4 here in the fourth inning. 2-2 two -two pitch. Edmondson the other way, but a line drive stabbed by Thompson for round number one. Right fielder number 26, Brendan Benham. That'll be Brandon Benham, one for two. Double in the first inning, flying out to center to end the second. Fastball. Swings and fouls it away on the right side, 0-1. This one also fouled away. So Herman had the count 0 and 2. One out, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, Huskies with a 6 to 1 lead. Herman delivers. And a swing and a miss and gets a strikeout for out number two. Third baseman, number six, Jake Miller. Let's 
So now it'll be Jake Miller with the bases empty and two down. Herman's first pitch misses up high for a ball. That misses outside, 2-0. Oh. Foul tip. And it's 2-1. The ground ball fouled away to even the count on Miller. Two two pitch. Another foul ball out of play. This one chopped to the right side. Williams going to have to hurry, flips it, and it is not in time. It's going to be an infield single for Miller. Williams going to have to glove it and flip it with the glove over to Coffee, and when he did that, it just cost him too much time, and Miller's on with the infield single. Number 38, Johnny Gonzalez. So now it's Johnny Gonzalez at the plate. With a runner on at first and two outs. Johnny, one for two. Grounded out to short to end the first inning. Doubled and scored in the third. Fastball outside corner, 0-1. This one misses just a little bit further outside. One ball and one strike. Fly ball into shallow left. Hollis charging in, and nobody's going to get there. And now, ball gets away at third, and Miller scores on the error. And now they're not paying attention. Gonzalez coming home, and he is tagged out. What a mess. I'll try to sort that one out. The Huskies do get one run and lead it 7-1 to one as we go to the fifth here on the Husky Sports Network. Nice scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. I am strong. I won't give up. I put my heart into the game. I learned from my mistakes. Focus. Determination. 
confidence. I trust my gut. No limits. Preparation. Dedication. Leadership. I want to make my team and family proud. Be an inspiration for other girls who like sports. Join the movement. Under Armour. What? It's a good move. It's pretty solid. It's better now. <laughs> So we go to the top of the fifth inning. HBU with a 7-1 to lead over Good Texas job. State. That last play seven, of the Isaiah inning. Jones. Give Johnny Gonzalez a double. No RBI. As Jake Miller scored on the throwing error by the left fielder. And then Gonzalez tagged out by the catcher to end the inning. First pitch to... Isaiah Ortega-Jones is outside, 1-0. Burns still out there for the Huskies. Miss it down and in, two balls and no strikes. Ortega-Jones flying out to right. His first time up back in the second inning. Pops this one up on the infield. Gonzalez, the first baseman under it. And makes the catch for out number one. Now to bring up Chase Evans. Right, number 15, Chase Evans. Evans walked in the second inning. Fastball for a strike by Burns on the upper part of the strike zone. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. And a swing and a miss. Ball kicked by the batter and down to first. So it hit the batter. He kicked the ball away from the catcher, Jackson. Head coach Jerry Moon coming out to get an explanation from the home plate umpire. It'll be a strikeout and a wild pitch. Ball was in the dirt, and as Jackson, the catcher, went to pick it up, Evans kicked it. Jackson tried to make the off-balance throw down to first, and it pulled Gonzalez off the back. The catcher, number two, Tucker Redden. So the play will stand as Evans, the runner at first, and the strikeout and the wild pitch. Now we go back to the top of the order for the Bobcats, and Tucker Redden takes strike one. That's a down and in for a ball. This one driven into left, right at Edmondson, makes the catch for the second out. Second baseman, number one, Jackson Williams.
Jackson Williams, the batter, fouls it away. Williams 0 for 2, lined out to short in the first, grounded out to short in the third inning. Runner goes, a ground ball to short. Clark gloves it, and over to first. Gonzalez gets back onto the bag, and Burns pitches around the, the right, strikeout David. wild pitch, and we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. HBU 7, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. Sounds good, Daddy. Regular checkups are good for many things. No tumors. Uh-oh, your colon sounds funny. But they can't detect everything. At the Memorial Hermann Wellness Institute, get a full body scan, heart scan, or virtual colonoscopy to help you find problems early enough to do something about them. I'm glad you're okay, Daddy. Schedule your scan today. Call 713-222-CARE. Memorial Hermann for your whole life. At the you can always count on Houston Federal Credit Union to be there for you because once a member, always a member. Take advantage of all their products and services to help you in all your financial milestones, such as purchasing your first car, planning your dream wedding, buying a home, and planning for retirement. Stop by any of their convenient locations or visit their website, www.houstonfcu.org and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. So Garrett Herman, still the pitcher for Texas State as we go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Leading off for the Huskies, the center fielder, number one, Christian Dumont. Six, seven, and eight, two up for HBU, Christian Dumont, Trent Franson, and Todd Jackson. Dumont, one for one, hit by a pitch and scored in the second inning. RBI triple and scored a run in the third. Hit a sinking line drive to center in the third inning, and Ortega Jones, the center fielder, tried to make a sliding catch and came up empty. Dumont fouls this one away. Now to play. So the ball got past Ortega Jones, and Dumont went into third with a triple. This one fouled away, and it's 0 and 2. So six of the Huskies' nine hits this afternoon have been for extra bases. Parker Wayne with a home run. Brandon Benna, Ryan Edmondson. Johnny Gonzalez with a pair of doubles. And then Dumont with a triple. This one low for a ball. One and two, the count on Dumont. Popped up into shallow center. Ortega Jones... Gives way to the second baseman, Williams, who puts it away for out number one. Second baseman, number four, Trent Franson. That'll be Trent Franson. He's one for two, struck out in the second, RBI single in the third. Ground ball to second. Williams has it over to first for the second out. The catcher, number 34, Todd Jackson. Todd Jackson, the batter, takes strike one on the outer edge. 
Jackson 0 for 1. Flyed out to center in the second, hit by a pitch in the third. The 0 1 from Herman, a breaking ball, misses upstairs. One one pitch. Breaking ball for a strike. Herman winds and delivers. Driven into right field. Evans. Waits under it and makes the catch for the out. First one, two, three inning of the game for Texas State. The Huskies lead it seven to one after five here on the Husky Sports Network. I'm Robin. And I'm Chris. We're the brothers behind Firehouse Subs. Back when we were firemen, when it came to food, we said it better be something good and, and a lot, lot of it. That's what you get at Firehouse Subs. Take our hook and ladder sub. Smoked turkey breast, Virginia honey ham, and Monterey Jack cheese, all steam heated and piled high on a toasted sub roll. Our way beats their way. If you don't agree, it's free. You're going to cover that, right? My money's on the sub. Love the confidence. <laughs> Firehouse Sub, founded by firemen. Rolling up on a cheap price feels good, but cheap comes with risk. Heart surgeons, pilots, no one hires a cheap one of them. Fact is, certain things must be done right. Installing electricity in Houston schools and hospitals needs to be built with manpower that spent 10,000 hours training to do their job. So for heart surgeons to do their job, we must do ours. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. The body is incredibly powerful. It's so nimble and fluid, but sometimes we push it too far. That's when you need the strength of Memorial Hermann and our body of affiliated orthopedic specialists. With our renowned Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, they not only get your body back to where it was, they get it to go further. It's what makes us more than just hospitals. We are a body of experts. Memorial Hermann, advancing health. Ross Renault back here on the Husky Sports Network, HBU, with a 7-1 lead over Texas State. Will Hollis leading it off for the Bobcats. Fouls off the first pitch from Chris Burns. Hollis 0 for 2, struck out to in the first inning, popped up to second in the third. This one fouled back. Burns ahead in the count, 0-2. The 0-2 pitch from Burns. A chopper to second. Franson backs up on it. He's in shallow right field and makes the throw over to first for the out. A nice play by Franson on a tricky ground ball. Hard hit and into the dirt. Took a high hop in front of home plate. Justin Thompson. That'll be Justin Thompson. He's 0 for 2. Flight out to right to lead off the second. Grounded out to first to end the third inning. Ball one to Thompson. This one up and in, two and out. Oh. 
Burns steps off. Two-o pitch on the way and a swing and a miss. Now look at the Southland Conference scoreboard. All the action later on today. Memphis is at Central Arkansas. Lamar at Texas at four o'clock. And then later on tonight, six o'clock, number eleven LSU is at Nichols. It's a foul tip, and it's two and two. Tomorrow, Incarnate Word against Notre Dame in San Antonio at 6 o'clock and Kansas State at Texas A&M Corpus Christi at 6.30. 2-2 two pitch. Popped up down the right field line. And Franson makes a basket catch in foul territory for out number two. Designated hitter number 24, Wesley Faison. Now two outs and the base is empty for Wesley Faison. And a solo home run in the second inning. Grounded out to the second to lead off the fourth. Down and in for a ball. Scheduled this weekend, HBU against Ball State, 2 o'clock on Friday afternoon, 1 o'clock on Saturday, and 1 o'clock on Sunday. The 1 0 pitch. Face on with a high fly ball into left. Edmondson coming in under it and makes the catch, and there's that'll do it. Near the bottom of the sixth inning, HBU 7, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. if human beings were great at being human and if all of mankind were made up of kind women and kind men it would be wonderful if common knowledge was knowledge commonly known and if the light from being enlightened into every heart was shown it would be glorious if neighbors were neighborly and indifference a forgotten word it would be awesome if we shared everything and being greedy was absurd. It would be spectacular if the golden rule was golden to every man. And the good things that we ever did was everything that we can. Treating others like we'd like to be treated has always been our guiding principle. Marriott Houston West Chase, a proud partner of HBU Athletics. There's our winner. Congratulations and thank you to Houston Marriott West Chase for their continued support of Husky Athletics. Now the bottom of the sixth inning. Garrett Herman still a pitcher for Texas State. Leading off for the Huskies, the shortstop, number 15, Cal Clark. It'd be Cal Clark before going back to the top of the order, Parker Wayne and Ryan Edmondson. It's a ground ball and up the middle and off the glove of Sheffield. Just a little bit too far up the middle for Sheffield. Off his glove, and it's going to be an infield Designated single for Clark. Number 14, Parker Wayne. So now we go back to the top of the order, and Parker Wayne. Two for three with a solo home run, RBI single, and struck out in the third inning. Squares the bunt, pops it up. Catcher. Redden can't get to it and it's fouled away. It's 
that Herman has given up an unearned run in two and two-thirds innings. Dr. Isaac Ponce gave up four runs, all of them earned in one and two-thirds. And Jacob Little gave up two runs, both earned in two-thirds of an inning. That hits the inside corner, 0-2 oh to Parker Wayne. And a strike on the outside corner as Wayne strikes out for the first out. That brings up Ryan Edmondson. Left fielder number 23, Ryan Edmondson. Edmondson one for three, popped up to short in the first inning. Two-run double in the second, lined out to third in the fourth. Misses a little bit too low, 1-0. Runner goes, a ground ball to the right side. Only play for Coffee is to step on the first base bag. Clark moves up to second, and there's two outs. Right fielder number 26, Brendan Binna. Brings up Brandon Benna. It's one for three, a double in the first inning. Fly out to center to end the second, struck out in the fourth. Got Clark at second with two outs. Herman's pitch, taken down low for a ball. A couple of defensive changes for the Bobcats. Cameron Gibbons is now in center field. Junior from Houston. And Peyton Lewis is in right field, sophomore from Cyprus. The 1 0 to Benna, ground ball to third, diving stop by Thompson. Long throw across to Coffee at first for the out. Nice play there by Thompson. We go to the seventh inning. HPU 7, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Russ Renault back here on the Husky Sports Network. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Chris Burns back out there. He's thrown four shutout innings so far. Be Dalton Sheffield to lead it off for the Bobcats. Sheffield 0 for 2. Reached on an error in the second inning. Grounded out to third in the fourth. Sheffield. 
Seven runs, ten hits, one error for HBU. One run, two hits, one error for Texas State. Burns first pitch, taken for a strike. Down and in for a ball. Smashed foul, one and two. So coming up this weekend, Ball State comes to town Friday at 2 o'clock, Saturday at 1, Sunday at 1. All of those here on the Husky Sports Network. We'll move over. New pay-per-view subscription service. Today's a free preview. And that service, $4.95 per game. This one fly ball down the left field line, and that one's hooking foul. Or you can purchase the baseball season pass for $34.95. So one and two the count on Sheffield. Burns comes set. Pitch on the way. Would have been ball two, but Sheffield fouls it away. It's up in his eyes. Another one-two pitch. This one off the fist. Gonzalez has room, but dives and can't come up with it. So Burns looks in, and Sheffield digs in. Now delivers down and in to even the count. Two two pitch. Shuffield gets a piece of it and stays alive. Another 2-2 two -two on the way from Burns. Fly ball into center. Dumont drifting back and makes the catch for the first out. That'll be Cole Coffey, the first baseman. Coffey one for two today, singled in the second inning and struck out to in the fourth. That's a ball outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. A strike on the outside corner, 1-1. One and one. That pitch misses outside. Two balls and a strike. So Burns with a 2-1 pitch. That misses low and away.
Burns comes set. And now the 3 1 hits the inside corner for strike two. Full count now on Coffee. One out, and the base is empty here in the top of the seventh. Burns with the payoff pitch. Coffee fouls it away. Another 3-2 pitch. Coffee just gets a piece of it. Burns sets. Now delivers. Coffee takes strike three on the outside corner. And there's two down. Right fielder number 21, Peyton Lewis. This will be Peyton Lewis, this first at bat of the game. Sophomore from Cyprus and Cypher High School. Lewis hitting 400 on the year. Grounds this one to third. It's two for five coming into the game. The throw over to first in time for the out. We go to the seventh inning stretch. HBU 7, Texas State 1 All here on the Husky right, Sports man, Network. It's time for the seventh inning stretch. Up on your feet, take a stretch. Join us in singing. Take me out to the ball game. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. <laughs> Garrett Herman stays in the game for Texas State. He'll face Jake Miller to lead it off for the Huskies here in the bottom of the seventh. Leading off the seventh for the Huskies, the third baseman, number six, Jake Miller. Miller one for three, struck out in the first inning, grounded out to second in the third, singled and scored in the fourth. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it away. Middle of the order, Miller, Gonzalez, and Dumont. Four, five, six, two up here for the HPU. High fly ball into left field. Hollis waits under it and makes the catch for the first out. That'll be Johnny Gonzalez, two for three. Baseman number 38, Johnny Gonzalez. Grounded out to short to in the first inning, but doubled and scored in the third inning and doubled in the fourth. That led to a run as Jake Miller able to score on a throwing error on that play. That was the last run of the ball game back in the fourth inning. This one driven the other way and foul. So the Huskies got on the board the solo home run by Parker Wayne to lead off the bottom of the first. Bobcats answered 
with Faison solo homer in the second, but then the Huskies with three in the second, two in the third, one in the fourth. The 0-1 to Gonzalez. This one chopped foul. Johnny falls behind in the count. Herman with the 0 2. And Gonzalez swings and misses at a pitch up above the zone. Two down now. Center fielder number one, Christian Dumont. That'll be Christian Dumont. It's one for two, hit by a pitch and scored in the second. RBI triple and scored in the third. Popped up to second to lead off the fifth. Takes this one upstairs for ball one. Fouls this one back. One and one the count. The 1-1 one, one from Herman. That misses up high. 51 pitches now for Herman as he crosses that 50 mark. Up and in, 3-1. and one. This one driven into right center field. Lewis coming over and makes the catch to end the inning. Go to the eighth inning. HBU 7, Texas State 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. At Memorial Hermann, we're many parts working in harmony performing more brain and spinal surgeries than anyone in Houston, conducting groundbreaking research at our Mischer Neuroscience Institute, establishing the region's largest network of certified stroke centers. Some might say this makes for an accomplished performance, but to us, it's all in a day's work. Memorial Hermann. Breakthroughs every day. At Raising Cane's, we know lots of people want the recipe for our delicious cane sauce, but we'll take the secret to our graves. You know, our founder, Todd Graves. He's the guy who figured out which blend of spices makes every drop of sauce totally tasty. Of course, it helps that our cane sauce is made fresh every single day, no matter what. And Todd's also the guy who won't spill his secret recipe, but you can dip in it all you like. Raising Cane's, one love. We head to the eighth inning, a new pitcher into the game for the Huskies. It's going to be junior right-hander Jaron Robler. 6'6", 245 from Pearland, Pearland High School, Wharton Junior College. Jaron made his first appearance in relief over the weekend. No record, 18-90 ERA. Gave up seven Three runs on eight, eight hits, two strikeouts and a walk in three and a third innings. Center fielder, number 11, Cameron Gibbons. It'd be Cameron Gibbons to lead it off for Texas State. Came into the game as a defensive replacement. 
back in the sixth inning. Gibbons, a junior from Houston, Lamar High School, Blend College. Takes a strike from Robler. Gibbons has been a defensive replacement one other game this year for the Bobcats. Goes the other way. Gonzalez has it and takes it to the bag himself for out number one. So that's the first official at bat for Gibbons on the year. And he is retired. So we'll go back to the top of the order. Catcher, and Tucker Redden. Tucker Redden. Official line for Chris Burns went five innings. Faced 16 batters. And did not allow a hit. Struck out three. And the only base runner reached on a wild pitch on a strikeout. 0-1 to Redden on the strike from Robler. Redden 0 for 3. Flying out to right in the first inning. Ground ball back up the middle. Franson can't backhand it. And that's going to be a base hit for Redden. So third hit of the game for the Bobcats. Comes here with one out in the eighth inning. Second baseman, number one, Jackson Williams. So Redden 1 for 4. It's Finish the line on him. Flight out to center in the second. Lined out to left in the fifth. And now a single here in the eighth inning. That'll bring up Jackson Williams. Williams 0 for 3. Lined out to short in the first inning. This one driven to right. Benna moving over towards the line. Makes the catch. And there's two down. That'll be Will Hollis. Number six, Will Hollis. Hollis 0 for 3, struck out in the first inning. Popped up the second in the third and grounded out to second to lead off the sixth. So uh, head coach Stephen Trout, the third base coach, calls Hollis over. Two outs here in the top of the eighth inning. Huskies seven, Bobcats one. And a strike call. Redden, the runner over at first. That pitch misses down low for a ball. One one pitch. Hollis fouls it away. The so throw over to first and Redden back in. Misses up high and evens the count on Hollis. Robler sets and now the 2-2. Hollis off the fist and out of play. Check of the runner over at first. Robler delivers. This one lined off the glove of Robler. Now picks it up. The throw over to first in time to retire the side. We go to the bottom of the eighth inning. HBU 7, Texas State 1. You're watching the Husky Sports Network.
Houston Federal Credit Union and Houston Baptist University have joined forces to put the howl back in your finances. HFCU offers several products and services such as auto loans, mortgages, and credit cards. And HFCU has a financial education program, Elevate, which is tailored to helping you increase your financial knowledge. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, www.houstonfcu.org, and experience the credit union difference today. Dogs up. At the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, we're dedicated to the dedicated, who lace up before sunrise, who don't let a hard hit keep them down, who want the ball when the game's on the line. So team up with the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute at Texas Medical Center Memorial City or the Woodlands, where our affiliated surgeons, specialists, and physical therapists offer all athletes the elite care they need to forge ahead. New pitcher into the game for Texas State. It's going to be junior right-hander Tristan Stivers from Castroville, Medina Valley High School. Stivers making his second appearance on the season. No runs. No hits and a strikeout in one and one third eight. innings. Your Huskies, the second baseman number four, Trent Franson. It'll be Trent Franson to lead it off. He's one for three today. Struck out looking in the second. RBI single in the third inning and grounded out to second in the fifth. Stiver's first pitch driven into right. Lewis comes in, and one pitch, one out here in the eighth. That'll be Todd Jackson. Catcher number 34, Todd Jackson. Jackson 0 for 2, fly out to center in the second. Hit by a pitch in the third, fly out to right to end the fifth. Swings at the first pitch and fouls it away. Ground ball to third and hops into left field. A base hit for Jackson here with one out in the eighth inning. The shortstop, number 15, Cal Clark. Now to be Cal Clark. He's one for two. Walked and scored in the second. Reached on a fielder's choice in the third and singled in the sixth. Takes a strike. That was low and away, one and one. Throw over to first and a close play, but Jackson back in. One and one the count on Clark with one out. The runner on at first. Seven to one here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Huskies leading. Stivers with the pitch. It's the outside corner for strike two. The 
one two pitch. Clark swings and misses for the second out. Designated hitter number 14, Parker Wayne. Back to the top of the order, and Parker Wayne is two for four. Solo homer in the first, RBI single, and scored a run in the second. Struck out in the third, struck out in the sixth. Can't check his swing. Goes around, and it's 0-1. The 0 1 pitch, and a swing and a miss. The 0 2 pitch from Stivers misses upstairs. Now the one-two, and Wayne strikes out to end the inning. We go to the ninth, HBU 7, Texas State 1, here on the Husky Sports Network. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. <sighs> right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. <laughs> like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. <laughs> Top of the ninth inning here at Husky Field and HBU with a 7-1 lead over Texas State. Defensive change Bobcats. for the Huskies. Third baseman, number 10, Chase Justin Talbot Thompson. takes over in center field. He takes a spot in the order of, of Ryan Edmondson as Christian Dumont moves from center field to left field. Robler is still in the game. First pitch swinging and a ground ball up the middle and a base hit for Justin Thompson to lead off the ninth. Designated hitter number 24, Wesley Faison. First hit of the game for Thompson. He's now one for four. That'll bring up Wesley Faison. Faison, one for three. Solo homer in the second. Grounded out to second in the fourth inning. Flying out to left to end the sixth. Takes a strike on the outside corner by Robler. The 0-1 pitch, a breaking ball in there for strike two. Robler delivers. Ground ball through the left side for a base hit. So back-to-back -back singles for the Bobcats here to lead off the ninth inning. The shortstop, number eight, Dalton Sheffield. Brings up Dalton Sheffield. 
0 for 3, reached on an error in the second. Grounded out to third in the fourth and flied out to center in the seventh. Can't check his swing, goes around and it's 0 and 1. Up high for a ball, one ball and one strike. Robler looks in, checks the runner at second. 1-1 one, one pitch on the way, inside for a ball. Off the fist and fouled back to even the count. Robler comes set. Now the 2-2 pitch. Taken outside and the count goes full. Payoff pitch on the way. Fly ball into right. Benna under it and makes the catch for the first out. That'll be Cole Coffee. Coffee one for three. Singled in the second. Struck out to end the fourth and struck out in the seventh. Got two on with one out. Bobcats trailing by six here in the top of the ninth. Misses outside for ball one. Strike on the outer edge, one and one. Time is called by Coffee. High fly ball into left. Dumont coming in and it can't make the catch. It's going to fall down for a base hit. He overran it. And that's going to load the bases. Dumont couldn't right stop his momentum enough to make that catch. So now the bases are loaded with one out for Peyton Lewis. Lewis in his only at bat of the game. Grounded out to third to end the seventh inning. Fouls the first pitch back and it's 0-1. So three singles here in the ninth inning for Texas State. That one bounces in front of the plate. And a nice stop by Todd Jackson. Robler comes set in the 1-1 one, one pitch. That's in there for strike two. The 
The one-two pitch misses up high. Two-two pitch on the way and a foul ball out of play. The Thompson at third, Faison at second, Coffee at first. Bates is loaded with one out in the ninth. The Huskies leading by six. Just misses with a breaking ball in the outside corner. And the count goes full. Robler with a payoff pitch. A ground ball to second. Franson flips it to Clark for one. Over to first. It's not in time. So Lewis reaches on the fielder's choice. Drives in the run to make it 7-2. to two. Now we're going to have a pinch hitter for Texas State. It's going to be junior John Wuthrich. It's from Midland, Midland Lee High School. Swings at the first pitch and a fly ball deep to left. And that ball is gone. First pitch, a three-run homer for Wuthrich, makes it a 7-5 ball game. And now we go back to the top of the order the and Tucker Redden. Uh, there's two outs and nobody on now. Four runs here in the ninth inning for the Bobcats. First pitch misses low, and it's 1-0. Redden one for four. Line out to right in the first inning. Line out to center in the second. Lined out to left in the fifth and then singled in the eighth. The 1-0 pitch. It's fouled back. The 1-1 one, one pitch. It's outside, 2-1. Robler delivers. Fly ball into right. Ben awaiting under it. And he will make the catch for the out to end the game. So the Huskies hold and off the Bobcats here in the ninth Huskies inning Huskies and take win. this one by a score of 7-5. to five. We'll come back and wrap it up here on the Huskies postgame show. You've been watching Huskies baseball here on the Huskies Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. 
Russ Renault back here on the Husky Sports Network HBU with a 7-5 victory over Texas State. Huskies getting their first victory of the season to go to 1-4. Texas State falls to 3-2. Winning pitcher on the afternoon is Chris Burns. Held the Bobcats hitless through five innings, struck out three. Near perfect, the only batter to reach base reached on a strikeout wild pitch. Losing pitcher is Isaac Ponce for Texas State. He goes to 0-1, gave up four runs on four hits, a pair of strikeouts, and a walk in one and two-thirds innings. Garrett Herman did a great job out of the bullpen for the Bobcats. One unearned run on three hits, struck out four and four and two-thirds innings. Offensively for Texas State, Wesley Faison, two for four with the solo home run and two runs scored. And then John Wuthrich with the big hit off the bench in the ninth inning, a three-run home run to make this one interesting. And for the Huskies, Parker Wayne, two for five with a home run, a pair of RBIs, and a pair of runs scored. Johnny Gonzalez, two for four with two doubles and a run scored. Christian Dumont, one for three, an RBI, and two runs. And Ryan Edmondson, one for four with a double and a pair of RBIs for the Huskies. HBU will be back in action this weekend. We hope you can join us here on the Husky Sports Network. Remember that those games can be seen it's time for eight. on the Husky Sports Network this weekend. That'll be on the pay-per-view subscription, the new pay-per-view subscription service. That is $4.95 per game and $34.95 for the season pass. So we hope that you'll take advantage of that and we'll bring you quality broadcast all season long. Well, thank everybody for joining us this afternoon. Once again, your final score, HBU 7, Texas State 5 here on this Wednesday afternoon. We hope you enjoy the rest of your evening, everybody. I'm Russ Renault, and we will see you on Friday when Ball State comes to Husky Field at 2 o'clock. Good night, everybody. You've been listening to HBU Husky Sports on the DNA Husky Sports Network. These broadcasts are brought to you by the corporate partners of HBU Athletics, Houston Federal Credit Union, Memorial Hermann Healthcare System, Marriott Houston West Chase, Raising Canes, Under Armour, Firehouse Subs, Pepsi, Shipley Donuts, Four Points by Sheraton, IBEW Local 716, Jimmy John Subs, Kalachi Factory, and Holiday Inn Express. That's going to do it for now, but we thank you for being a part of this broadcast, and until we see you again down the road, so long and dogs up.